Hello and welcome to the Pioneer Volunteer. So it's 2024 and we started something brand completely new. I'm introducing Jackie Schiffer and this is the Pioneer of the Year for 2020, 2024, the first ever. So congratulations on that. I'm actually going to be uh, awarding you with this. And I also have a tote bag with a few different goodies for you to open later. Oh, thank you. And so I actually met Jackie when we were doing a pageant together. And uh, do you want to tell us your um, your pageant title that you're um, that you're currently holding and a little bit about that? Of course. Um, so I am the current Ms. New Jersey International 2023. I have. Um, participated in about 11 months of service to date, and I'll be passing on my crown um, early uh, March. And can you tell me a little bit about what you've done this year? Because part of what you've uh, been selected is everything you've been doing. So just to give a little bit of background, um, so again, once we met, uh, I saw so much about the volunteer with the service work that you've been doing all the time. I love your personality. You always have a smile on. You never say negative things about everyone. It's just, it's been so positive just to know you and see everything you've been doing. And part of what you've done, so um, going out there, making sandwiches, collecting food, it's making sandwiches. That's something, one of the first projects I did for the Pioneer Volunteer was making, pro, uh, making sandwiches. And that's a project I also did during college uh, for volunteering. So it's something that's close to my heart. I know how personal it is to spend that time making those sandwiches, putting those lunches together. So um, yeah, tell me a little bit about how, how did you even get started with volunteer work? What made you be interested in service work? That's a great question. Um, so I got started volunteering really young in my church community. Mm -hmm. And my work in hunger and food security started around that time. Um, okay. I grew up in Chicago and you know, I just remember like working with um, some of the adults. It was a really cold day, and uh, one of the men came in in sandals. Chicago gets cold. <laughs> yeah, so it was snowing, and someone came in in sandals to this um, like food pantry that we had set up. And one of the dads um, very humbly, you know, stepped aside and gave this man his own shoes. Wow. Um, and he didn't do it in a showy way. I just, you know, noticed it like happening in the corner as a kid. But it just goes to show like the moments of impact that these little actions can have. It's something that I've always remembered. You gotta make pregnant lady tear up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh man, wow. So that that is incredible. Okay. And and then tell us a little bit about what you've been doing throughout the uh, I know it's not a year yet and you'll be you'll be turning over your crown soon, but tell me a little bit about the organizations that you've been working with and what you've been doing throughout this year. Yeah, so I founded NJ Hunger Heroes as an initiative to uplift local food security. Oh, you founded it? Yeah, Ooh. so we're not a nonprofit yet, but it's um, an initiative. And my idea was to uplift all of the great food security organizations that are ha um, doing great work in New Jersey. And then also work with community groups to think beyond the can. Um, you know, I always want people, of course, to donate a can. But I also want people to be able to talk about poverty and food insecurity um, in a way that really profoundly touches their, their hearts and makes them want to do more. Amen to that. Amen to that. Yeah, so I, my goal as Ms. New Jersey was to visit all 21 counties, and I achieved that earlier this month. You did that. Um, during my reign, I also had the opportunity to travel with the pageant to Nassau, Bahamas. Um, so it looks like by the time I pass on my crown, I'll have traveled 5,000 miles as Ms. New Jersey. Wow. Um, and during that time, I was also named a UNA USA Global Goals Ambassador for Zero Hunger. So I've been able to do a that lot of really incredible. fun work. <laughs> thank you for all that you've done. No, thank that you. Really incredible. And so part of what you're winning for being the Pioneer Volunteer of the Year is a $500 donation. So this is either to go towards a scholarship for yourself or towards a donation of um, a nonprofit of your choice or towards a project that you wanted to have funded. So um, that's one of the things that we'll have to look forward to and uh, hearing more about your organizations throughout this year as you'll be helping them represent this organization. Yeah, so um, is there anything else that you wanted to, to add while we have you here? Yeah, um, well, first of all, thank you so much. Um, you know, we don't do the work that we do in the community to be recognized, but it certainly means so much. Um, I'm really excited to use the award to do some type of community service impact project. Um, with NJ Hunger Heroes, I have largely been self-funded, and so I just I know that this award is going to really help bolster our efforts and to do great work. 
I love it. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so and much. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> And for everyone else, we're going to be seeing a lot more of her this year. And cheers, volunteers. <laughs>